Hello, welcome to day 22. This will be unique to each and every one of you listening. And actually, it might be unique to you um, year on year, month on month, week on week. But it's a really lovely question that I keep coming back to because what it does is it gives me clarity and it helps support why I'm doing what I'm doing. So my question for you today is who else and where else could benefit from you? And we're going to go into propelling your personal brand in our last week together next week. But really thinking about, I guess, this expansion of what your personal brand will be able to do, it's going to be really interesting. And it makes it to be a very diverse, interesting, innovative. It really makes you stand out in the market, your market, all the markets. And I often ask myself this question because there's a big part of me that never wants to feel like a templated version. So I know even when I started at drama school, um, sometimes people would say like, oh, these are the, or it happened way before that, my goodness, you know, um, going to play netball at another school, people would say, oh, you got to watch them, they're really tall. And, you know, there was one particular team that we used to play against and they were really tall and I'm a five foot two person. So um, yeah, I had to have my wits about me for sure. And then as a dancer, you know, it would be that, oh, they, that group, or they've got this, or you know your competition out there. And I know that there's sometimes a comfort in that for some people, that they want to follow in the steps of somebody else. They want to take all of that information or that path that has been carved for them, and they want to step into that. But for me, because I always go back to this feeling place of, does it feel like me? Am I aligned with this? How does this feel in my body? Does this feel authentic? It's that word, isn't it? I really have to go, I guess, on a bit of a quest to see or perhaps dream about what my next moves might be. So this is a really lovely question if you're feeling stuck in your business. And I know because I've been doing this for 20 years that sometimes I've had this moment where I'm like, I've, run, I've done it all. I've run out of all the ideas. There's nothing I could ever write again. I never want to do any social media again. I'm probably not going to get an acting job. I mean, this is just a small insight into my head sometimes if I get myself into that groove. And I have to come back to this question of who else and where else could benefit. And I saw this, I guess, in the way that I started to present myself in terms of my speaking career. When I first became a coach, um, speaking wasn't really on the horizon, even though it was because very quickly, that's how I got lots of clients from doing small workshops, from doing things online, from joining things online. And I started to, I guess, earn my stripes as a speaker, even though, and again, I think sometimes asking this question, you go back to all those answers that you know the answer to, where I'm like, why am I not speaking when I've been a trained actor all my life? Why have I not done that? And so also thinking about how you can share your information, your expertise, your knowledge, your experience in a different way. One thing that I've been trying recently is this sense, and maybe if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen this. So I've been writing a lot more. It's something that I love to do, but it is more time consuming for me. You know, I can do one of these podcasts in I don't know, 5, 10, 15 minutes. But with a blog post, it could take up to an hour. You know, it's one of those where it has to be structured or have to think about it in a different way. It's not just necessarily dictating what I think. And I wanted to kind of come back to that because I love to write. I really, really enjoy it. I love... um, Oh, this is, <laughs> you can share this with my therapist, but I sometimes like to be- hide behind the words and I don't want to just be out front all the time where somebody's like, oh, she got new earrings. Oh, she's got a massive spot there. What's she wearing? Oh, gosh, her office looks a bit of a mess. 
sometimes it's really nice to hide behind words. And I love that sense sometimes as well, especially if somebody doesn't see your face or uh, hear your voice, then they can interpret them exactly how they want to. And I really love that. However, I know not everybody has hours and hours or minutes and minutes to read a blog post. And for me, it's really important that my content is accessible and that people can get it as and when they need it. And so I've started recording them. I've started reading them out as like little monologues. And I shared this earlier in the week, just like, oh gosh, I didn't know if it was a bit cringe at first where (laughs) you'd say as a teenager, like, guys, I've just really enjoyed writing this poem and expressing myself about what I feel about love and religion and who we all are and what we're doing here. And you might read two lines and people might roll their eyes. And so, yeah, there was a bit of fear out there where I was like, I hope people don't think that I'm taking myself too seriously. But then I came back to this woman, this woman that often, and she's not every client, she's not every client that I have, but it's the equivalent of somebody, um, well, their husband thinking or their partner thinking that they or their friends, you know, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of spiraling, all, all the people, those people close to them, um, they think that they're having an affair in some way, like, she's changed, he's changed, what's going on, why are they doing that, what's happening, it feels like they've got a secret life, what's going on? And quite often that's the point that they get in touch with me where they're like, I feel like this is not working for me anymore. I feel like I need some support. I feel like, ah, I don't know where my next steps are. But to say that perhaps to their partner or their close friends or family, like I really made this move and I felt really empowered and now I don't, it puts you in a bit of a vulnerable place sometimes. And so making sure that I'm really connecting with that person and speaking to them is important because sometimes reading a blog might not be the one, but they could listen to the video um, with their headphones at work. Maybe they're in a nine to five job. And so, yeah, I want you to think about that. Grab a big piece of paper and a pen. Ask yourself who else and where else could benefit from you. And even if you have a business model where you're like, I only work with five clients per year, this could be a really lovely way of thinking about how you're going to do your next series of marketing or how you're going to show up in a different way. And it just keeps you on your toes because it can be so easy to go on something like Instagram and go, oh, somebody, oh, real seems to be the thing. I think I will do that. This really centers you and really makes you consider what's going to be great for you, but also how can you show up in a way that's going to be great for your audience. As always, thank you so much for listening, for being with me. If you like this episode, please rate, review, subscribe. Uh, Five stars would be lovely. Thank you so much. And if you want to follow along the whole series and get access to the course, you can do. And there's loads more details about joining your personal brand plan. I am now booking in sessions for June and July. So if you're interested and if you're going, oh gosh, it's halfway through the year. How did that happen? I need to do something to make 2020 count and not just, you know, go by in a flash. Um, Let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation. And as I said to somebody who I spoke to yesterday, I have no agenda for these conversations. I'm not like, okay, so you're this person and I need to tick this box. It is a conversation. Like, what do you want? Tell me. And of course, it's confidential. Have a lovely weekend, whatever you're doing, and I'll see you tomorrow. Lots of love. Bye.